Hey everybody, Josh Russell Custom Cranks, and today I'm going to show you guys how I paint my Fire Tiger pattern. Uh, this is just a picture of one. I don't have an actual bait because I sold the three that I've uh, made of this pattern already to a guy in Pennsylvania. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool pattern. So I'll show you what you guys need. So the first thing is opaque white as a base coat and then these are inks from Dallaroni uh, flame orange lemon yellow emerald green uh, black and this is Wim wicked crimson and also um, I'm gonna use one of these hair clips you can get at Walmart um, for the stripes down the side. So stick around and I'll show you guys how to paint this. Okay, so our first step was to, um, coat the entire bait with opaque white. I did that off camera because it's very boring and pretty self-explanatory. But our next step is painting the belly and a little bit of the side. We're probably going to go do about this much, probably a quarter of an inch up on the side of the belly um, with our flame orange. So let's do that real quick. <laughs> So we painted with our flame orange the belly and a little bit. I went a little more, more than I wanted to on the uh, on the side of the bait, but it'll still look good. So the next thing we're gonna do is heat set this and then spray our lemon yellow. Okay, so I have our lemon yellow loaded up in load it up into the gun and we are going to hit the sides of the bait um, go a little bit up past the eyeballs and then fade it into the orange that we laid down so let's do that real quick and just one thing to say about spraying inks um, they are quite thinner than normal airbrush paint um, so you can't put as many coats on at one time You'll have to heat set in between, especially on these lighter coat, lighter colors. Oh. All right, so we will heat set this yellow. And then move on to our next color. It's going to be emerald green. And we're going to spray that on the spine of the bait. And then uh, fade down into the yellow that we just laid down. Okay, everybody. So we've heat set our yellow. So now I've got emerald green loaded up in the gun. And we're going to spray the spine. And like I said, you're going to want to fade the green that you're getting ready to lay down into the yellow. Not put it, we're not putting too much green on it or you'll subdue and you won't be able to see the yellow. So there's what we have so far. We're going to heat set the green and then uh, we will use this hair clip and some black to make the stripes down the side. So let's get that done. Okay, so I went ahead and heat set the green. And now what we're going to do is take our hair clip and I've already got some black loaded in the airbrush and we're going to make the uh, stripes down the side of the body. So you're going to take the hair clip put a 
just like that. And you're just gonna hold it in place while you spray. All right, let's do the other side. Okay. So I went a little bit higher on this side and a little bit darker than this side, but it still looks pretty good. So now I'm going to touch up around the eyes. I always give these a uh, white or a black flight back, uh, black face. And then we're going to paint the, uh, breast of the belly red so let's do that okay guys so off camera um i did a couple things um one was paint paint the face a uh, black color and kind of fade it back and then i uh, painted the belly just right here where the other hook hanger is red and then i added some red eyes So this side looks a little better and shows more of the yellow in the middle than this side. And that just comes with practice. I don't do this pattern a ton. Um, I've only done it like three or four times, but that just comes with, you know, the repetitiveness of it. So, but it still looks pretty good. Um, this was just a junk bait um, that I had laying around. So I don't, yeah, that's why the hook hangers bent and stuff like that. So, but this one was just used to do the, this tutorial for you guys. But let me know what you think. Um, this is my variation of a fire tiger pattern. Um, I'm going to leave some more example pictures at the end of this of the three that I did and sent to a guy in Pennsylvania. So let me know what you guys think. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, also, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages. Uh, my Facebook page is where I post all these lures for sale. And also um, do giveaways and stuff like that. So uh, definitely go check that out at Russell C Custom Cranks. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, thank you.